Hello, good morning. Um, today is my mother's 87th birthday, and I was hoping to be driving up to see her, but because of the uh, so called petrol shortage, I can't. And that's why I'm really speaking. Um, there's lots of stories going around saying, oh, it's a government conspiracy to make people have electric cars. It's to do with petrol tanker shortages. It's to do with this. It's to do with that. The reality is, it's to do with selfish people. Now, I know, you know, it's like uh, with the toilet rolls and people say, oh, that's human nature, you know, people here there's a shortage and they go running out. Well, I didn't. So, you know, what am I just the only person? In fact, when that happened, I went to my local um, Tesco, which happens to be in Tidworth, and um, the woman there was saying that there was people coming in vans and things and buying all the toilet rolls they could. And then you see it on Facebook and stuff, people are selling it. So it's not, it's not a shortage. It's a shortage that's manufactured. Same with petrol. If you're someone that goes out every day with your car and puts two or three pounds in it because you're worried about it, then you are causing the problem. Do you not see? You know, there isn't a real shortage. I mean, if we want to get to the brass tacks of it, why it's there, it's because idiots on TV and newspapers have put out this bullshit that it's going to run out any minute now. And so morons have, oh, it's the end of the world, let's go and fill up our cars. Do you not think about it? If petrol did run out, and you had a full full tank of fuel, how long would it last you? And then what would you do? It doesn't solve anything, does it? So people who need to go somewhere can't. I'm not being bloody, you know, put myself on a pedestal or something. I mean, I, I self-employed. I haven't had any work for a couple of weeks. But the last time I filled my car up was two weeks ago. And last night, I lived near Andover in Hampshire. I went out to go to Tesco, as I normally do on a Friday evening. I thought, I'll see if I can get some petrol so I can drive out to my mum. My mum lives in Scunthorpe, so it's a four-hour drive. And the two petrol stations on the A303, empty. The Shell one on the end of Wayhoo Road, empty. The SO garage on Charlton Road, empty. The BP garage, uh, used to be called Approach Garage, empty. So, you know, when I hear, oh, it's all back to normal, it's crap. It isn't. And it's not back to normal because people are driving around. I've seen them driving around from one garage to another. I mean, if you genuinely need it to go somewhere, then fair play. But if you're just filling up just for the bloody hell of it, you're a twat, OK? I don't care if, you, if that upsets people, but it's true. You do not need to take your car out every day and put three or four quid in it or fill up bloody jerry cans or whatever it is you're doing. You know, it's just mad. What with everything... I haven't seen my mum in more than one year because she's petrified with regards to COVID. It, and this is just something else. So thanks to irresponsible, greedy, selfish bastards driving around all day in my area, filling up for no reason, I can't go and see my mother. I just want to thank you all. Thanks very much.